the greatest enemy of a creator is himself. I am my enemy. And obviously when Sony do bring out firmware updates, all you need to go down to is that briefcase, number 12, and then over to the version, and you can see what the version is. Listen to these affirmations for 30 days at any time. Oh no, just pointless without action. Yes, yeah, somehow I'm cut out my creativity again. I tell myself I like to read. It helps me not feel shame for abandoning my gift. But I'm not alone. Yeah, I'm gonna. How you doing, boss, man? Excellent, man. That's great, that's great. Honestly, today's a calm, smooth day. I'm really trying to find blazers. It's just, I'm trying to find like blazers and like undershirts so I can stack up with my clothes, you know what I'm saying? Because it's OD cold, it's cold as shit. Ain't it cold, Key? It is cold. Cold as shit. Um, what's going on, boss, man? Happy New Year to you too, man. I'm just trying to, uh, you feel me? Find some, find some shit. I like this. It's real baggy. I like it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You feel me? For one, I love the intro. Two, I stepped up my color grading game. Um, for those who may notice, some may not notice. If you look at my work before, um, I love my work before, but I'm not truly proud of my work before because it's always, um, well, I'm proud. I'm proud, but it's always something I could have done better. And it was things I didn't know. Let's go over to the Blazers while I talk to y'all real quick, okay? It was always something I could have done better. And it was a lot of things I didn't know or quite understand. Well, I can't make that excuse for myself because anything I don't understand, I can learn. You feel me? There's internet, there's internet, there's people to learn from. So I can't make that excuse for myself. Yeah, I took the time I learned, especially it being um, a new year for some of y'all may say. I wanted to definitely step up my game and uh, get more into details. I'm also thinking about starting a second channel, strictly for film. Um, I know y'all love thrifting and fashion and stuff over here too, but I like doing it all over here, you feel me? I don't like sticking to one niche because I feel as if I'm more than just a niche. You know what I mean? It's not only just fashion over here. So yeah, I'm thinking about starting a uh, second channel. Y'all comment down below if y'all, well, it don't matter. <laughs> like. 
it don't matter if uh if y'all let's do a little fit check real quick let me get a little tins not a tin not a little tin a big tin got the tins with the tongues out because the bottom of these jeans they don't overlap over these shoes so they just sitting right here got a belt got this shirt with a thick collar you know what i mean got a little necklace and uh you matter varsity jacket shout out to beatrice you know I mean, little watch. Y'all know I stay with a watch all the time, bro. Okay, and then you got the hat. You feel me? You got my beautiful locks. You feel me? You got double XL. These are big, but I'm cool. I'm cool with big blade. I want like trench, not really just like uh blade. You know, you get what I'm trying to say, Key? Yeah. I want like trenches, like a trench coat. I want some blazers that that drape at least that come at least slight like my thighs, like right here. I like that color scheme, so I'm gonna definitely throw it in the cart. I'm at a, I'm at a stage where I feel like um, I hit my cat breaker in fashion. Feel me? So now it's time to like get that VC. Boom. Okay, go to the next level. It's like we had an 89. You hit a 90, and then you can go from 95, and then you grind 99. Feel me? I feel like I hit my cat breaker. So most definitely, I was comparing some of my outfits from like when I first started thrifting. Not first started thrifting, but when I first started making the thrift videos. Excuse the sniffler, his, his dumb ass dog. Every time I come over his house, I don't, I think I'm allergic to his little ass dog. Do you wear ties? Sometimes. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I don't know. Hold up. I'm copying G. <laughs> Good news, I feel happy. I feel happy bringing it out. And being able to sew and create, you feel me? I'm at that point in my life where I gotta evolve. You feel me? That's not even a point in my life. I've been evolving, but it's just like I want more for myself. You feel me? You should want more for yourself too, bro. You gotta invest in yourself. So take that risk, spend that bread. You know, I spent three hundred dollars on my DaVinci Resolve Studio software that app I use to edit on. But look at what I'm doing now. You feel me? It took a lot to learn, took some time to learn, but niggas making it happen. And it's and it's beautiful. Like this hat. Bro, I want hats like these. Like with the short brim. You know what I mean? I might fing around and get this. I ain't gonna lie. Like just because it looked like this, I'ma get it. Ugh. I'm getting it. complaining saying I got too much jeans bro it's like I'm doing circles nigga I'm doing circles I also want to get a couple flannels so when I start doing layers I can lay the flannels up on my waist or if I like I can cut up some stuff too hmm how I determine if I get these or not I sit here I look at the colors so you see the color tones turquoise pants or orange or brown pants um, combine it with that or even blue jeans like if I took this okay I'm gonna wrap it around me see so I can see hold on let me just plug up so in a sense like this okay obviously these colors don't match but you see you know what I mean if I didn't have this on these colors wouldn't go but imagine I had um white tee orange or anything of these shades like kind of like fall colors with the turquoise i mean or you can just go crazy and be ballistic and just wear all different types of colors you know what i mean i like it it's crazy because niggas used to do that in middle school you find anything yeah i got uh two of these you know i like best like these just you know some classy I'm going out to eat or something like that and then um that's a halloween shirt halloween town Halloween is um, my favorite holiday. When you come to Goodwill, it's a hit or miss, and nine times it's a miss. Nine times out of ten, it's a miss. But you gotta create out of the things that you find. Like, bro, I kid you not. I can have, I can have a group of niggas come in here and scan out the whole place and see what they get. They gonna come out talking about me. I just wanna talk about that, man. I just wanna talk about that, man. And then I come in here and I'm like. Because you could, you didn't see the vision. You gotta see the vision. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I can hide this. Would you wear this? No. Not just like casually. Let's say for instance this, right? Let's, let me get an actual color that matches. Let's say I took this, right? And I layered it underneath this shirt and had a red collar to complement the red and blue contrast that I already have. It don't always gotta be white. You feel me? It don't always gotta be white. Try black, try brown. I've done it before. That nigga look is shiesty. <laughs> well, what the f way I have I do the split? How you feel about this? A little stylish. Should I put it on real quick? I don't like it. Yo, you know, your package came. I don't know if you put my address, but you know, it was the the leggings with the zipper on the back. All right. Mm -hmm. You know the leggings that zip straight down yeah. the back. Yeah. Show all the ass. I never understood shit like that, man. I was scrolling on reels, right? The other day, I was on Instagram. I was scrolling on reels. I kind of like these. The uh, thigh part ain't too wide though, so it ain't gonna fit baggy, but it maybe fit snug. And the bottom cut out like a bell bottom a little bit. I like that. Hold on, I'm gonna examine those in a little bit. But look, I was scrolling on reels the other day. My nigga, for one, I seen niggas do this, but not exactly like this, but it was a female, bro. She had on a, a sweater and practically no drawers on. And I never understood niggas who get dressed, like do get ready with me and they start in their drawers. I don't understand that, gang. It's like, Nigga, there's, there's kids watching you, G. There's kids watching, and you want to start in your drawers. Like, you couldn't just say, hold up. Okay, let me at least put on some sweats, and then let me cut the clip. No, you went back and edited it. You say, okay, I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to watch it. Yeah, 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 that's fine. No, nigga, that's not fine, bro. That's, that's, that's nasty, bro. It's, it's not nasty, but it's like you doing too much, G. You don't gotta be in your damn drawers. Like, what are you doing? Ain't be some grown ass man, some Aki ass man, swole as shit, little ass drawers. What the f nigga cover up? They be having the the, uh, the best sweats over in the female section, I swear. Like these, even though they cut short, you can wear some socks. Like, it's cool to have like some sweats that cut short or even pants that cut short because you can style them in a certain way. You can wear high top socks and wear loafers. Um, in a sense, think about senseis or like, you know, Kung Fu Warriors or something. They were like, huh? Kung Fu? That's what I said. said Kung, Kung Fu? Fu? Uh-huh. Get the fuck, they what the fuck? It's just same shit. Yeah, like Kung Fu Warriors and shit. Like they be wearing like the pants, the baggy pants, and they, they stop right here, and then the rest is your socks, you feel me? And they wear like the... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, styling your socks. I need to get socks, I want socks with the stripes, all of that, I want to step on all of that shit. Niggas don't ever want to come this way. Cause you know what I mean? They not trying to be embarrassed. You know what I mean? But like bro, the real the real thrifters gonna come to the female section, bro. We do not care. I like how baggy these shits get. Even though these are like real thin, I'll probably sleep in these, I ain't gonna lie. But like imagine for instance, like I said, boom, you had these. And let's say for instance you wrap this around the waist of that, and you see how the color contrast slick go, right? And then you combine, you work your way up. You found flannel? I had, found... had that out over there? It was like where the uh, dress shirts was. I just found like one flannel. <laughs> On me, you gotta wake up early. Like, th thrifting is like a sport, bro. If you trying to find the right stuff, though. If thrifting was like a sport, right? Let's compare it to like basketball. Who would you be? If thrifting was a sport and like basketball, I, in basketball terms, who would I be? Yeah. Let me hear your answer first. Me? I mean, I, I okay. Who would who would you be? And then who would you be? And then who would you say I be? Um, <clears throat> I give you like a Draymond. What, bro? Nah, he trolling now. He trolling. Iggy Dollar. 
you know, I'm not Iggy Dollar take like Iguodala is cool, but I'm not gonna. He take cool, that. nigga. Like I'm not gonna take that. Brother but you, but you hardly thrift anymore. I say D Rose. <laughs> you know D Rose, bro. I should have got D Rose. Okay, who would you say? Because I, I, I got injured. Because you got injured. You know, and I'm getting back into it. Okay, so that's injured. valid. That's, why I say D -Rose. that's valid. So who would you say I am? You, I'd say you like um, I say you like Curry. Nah. Cause you don't really miss on your fits. Okay. You like from limitless on your fits. Okay, so, I, I respect I that. Curry. And you, and you I'd say either Curry or Kyrie. I say Kyrie. Cause you crafty. Cause I'm, I'm yeah, crafty. Yeah, Crafty. I f with that. That's thorough. I say Kyrie. Cause I'm really like. Ooh. I kind of like these to a sense. I'm about to plug. I'm about to plug up real quick so I can. Uh. Bro, he tall as shit, G. He a beat your ass. He a beat your ass. Oh, these are nice. I ain't gonna lie, these are nice. I love these. I'm not gonna lie, I, got, I gotta get these. The waist gonna fit tight though, but I won't have to wear no belt. If I can button it up, I won't have to wear no belt, and it's gonna give it like that vintage feel. So I'm doing it. These are neat. I don't have this color of slacks. Are, are these navy blue? I like your hair. Thank you, I like your hair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why you even knew this nigga? I didn't, all I know he had a thick ass head. All right. And I just, every time I seen him, he had on the new J's in middle school. Every time. And I, I used to, he was, Hermione, Bro. Hermione. Don't even make it seem like that. He had all the J's, he had everything. Let's check in with the shoes, see if we, we can hit on some. Like on some loafers or something. Boy, you fire. <laughs> oh, me these fire though, I'm not gonna lie. And I'll start these too. I swear I would. I forgot what bug these look like. It was like a dub. It was like, I forgot what bug it looked like. These are definitely different though. You said what, cockroach? <laughs> <laughs> Should I put on one? See if I can fit it. I don't see no size on it. I got on double size too. These are different. I like different. They fit. Boy, you look weird as hell. I like them. <laughs> on me, I kick a nigga in his noggin. <laughs> we getting them because they look weird. And nobody else will find these. How you feel about these, Key? You rock right, these? These Crocs? I would style these too. Definitely with the right flare pants, though. You can style these hella swaggy, though, with the right pants, you feel me? And they comfy too. How they look? With the right pants that flare underneath it, though, like, they look clean. You can have on any pair of shoes, right? With the right pair of pants that, like, overlap the shoe, they look clean. Really, what I'm trying to go for is just get, like, just get, like, the weird. The more weird shit you have, the more versatile the outfits to be. Yo, AJ, you want some Ricks, nigga? You want some Rick? <laughs> Rick's really overrated. These is tough, I'm not gonna lie. You can't label me to one sense of style, one. I don't have a, I don't have like one style. I can do any, any style, any period. So I like getting different you know what I mean? Not just Tim's for your bumba clock. Let me throw you in the car. <laughs> we here with, um, I'm rich, I just thrift. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, those look really nice. Those actually look nice. You see, me, I'm not really a boots guy, you know? I'm more snake skin, you know what I'm saying? Low top. <laughs> I'm gonna get them soon, though. On me, these stuff. On me these stuff. I like weird shit. But I feel like with things like this, if you're gonna have weird shoes, have a weird hat. These would be fire on you, bro. I'm not gonna lie, these fire. Wait, wait till I style these. Like, y'all can look at them now and be like, yeah. It don't matter. Wait till I style it. Wait till I style it. I got a yellow pair of cowboy boots. That's what I posted on my IG the other day. With the picnic fit, those are the cowboy those boots. Those were cowboys? Yeah, they come up to like right here. Vintage though, those fire, huh? Yeah, it was some light. But you couldn't cut some light. 
that that's a good thing in my time. You talking about son? I need that. I need that. Oily ass shoes. They kind of fire though. What size are they? It depends on what size they are. If they my size, I get them just because they shiny and I don't got nothing this shiny. And you gotta have something like different. You feel me? Every time have some different, try weird stuff. The best advice I can give you: try weird stuff. Shoes. Like I see a lot of people start with big red boots, and ain't nothing wrong with the big red boots. Let me plug y'all up. How much battery you got on the camera? Twenty. We better do process of elimination, man. Be my sneaky link. You can be my sneaky link. Tryna sum me up, she a king. Used to call me friend, now she call me sting. Uh, no, she testing me, but I won't pick up. Uh, no, she playing me like I won't fuck it up. Talking all that shit like I won't fuck it up. 1942, put that shit in my cup. When I lock that door, just know we finna fuck. Cold and shit. Y'all see where we at, though. Um, the fact that people is actually getting ice cream at this time is actually crazy. But we just got done shooting um, the shot of Key right there in front of here. But niggas is actually getting ice cream in this cold as shit. I don't get it. Would you want like some soup or some shit, nigga? Or some warm? You want a, a nice hot meal when it's cold outside, right? I don't get it. This is technically the first video of uh, the year. This is the first video, my first video of 2024. Yeah, I'm really just happy just taking my time. I feel like it's crucial that we have patience, period. And I feel like, what if it's you're a filmmaker, um, whether if, if you're an athlete, you know what I mean? An artist, whatever the case may be. Um, patience, I feel like we need more of. It's just like, it's a beautiful thing. Like, and I made that because it's not like, I don't believe in a creator's block. I've been had times where I thought I had creator's block and I would call it creator's block then. And then I started being careful of the words that I speak. I don't like to say creator's block at all. Instead, it was a creator's blessing, a, a creator's opportunity, a creator's gift. Um, it's, it's honestly the, your best nightmare. It's your best nightmare you can have is creator's block. The reason why I'm saying that is because when, when you're in a, a point in your life where you feel like stagnant, like when you feel still, people take that and they get discouraged, right? Or they get lazy and they, they lay around and they, you know what I mean? It hits them. I feel like it hit harder when it hits you that you being lazy. Now nah, niggas don't give a f Knowing you like, you're not feeling right, knowing you off, knowing that you out your element, is one thing. But knowing that, knowing you out your element and still not doing shit is another thing. You get what I'm saying? Because now it's like, do, do, do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, you real like, it's like you in too deep now. And then it's like, two weeks go by, shit, that felt like two days. And then two weeks go to two months. And so on. So, um, I believe like, not that I believe. I know I know for a fact that if you take your time and instead of bashing yourself and saying you lazy, dwell in that darkness, dwell in your shadow, do the shadow work, okay? Figure out what it is. Um, figure out what it is that got you to this point. Um, I'm not too big on dwelling on what I already have, but I am proud of the things I've already done. 
maybe it, it isn't the best. It's not my best work, but I'm proud because that's part of me evolving. You know what I'm saying? We all have to evolve, period. So whether if you're in that stagnant point of your life right now, whether you're a creator, artist, you dance, you do music, you don't do And if, if you're any of those, if you're anything, period, you ever been st feeling stagnant, the main thing is evolving in whatever aspect that you can. Whatever I can do today, I'm gonna do it. Yesterday, I was able to shoot a video and get a couple of shots, I took that. Today, I'm able to shoot a couple more videos. I was waiting some of my, um, my uh, RS Mini, I was waiting till my R RS Mini slider came so I could be able to use the uh, gimbal like we're on now so um, so I can have stabilized footage. But yesterday, I didn't have stabilized footage. And you know, I was like, ah, oh, but I really want stabilized footage. I was like, no, okay, let's go. This is what I got. I'm gonna take that step, let's go, come on. Because I started off just using a gimbal. Not the gimbal, I started off just using a tripod. You know what I'm saying? So, because I started off just using a tripod. So that's where I start off and I could go back to it. I feel like we think like it always gotta be something new sometimes. We can take the old and just renovate it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep on evolving um, with that. And um, yeah, like evolve and take baby steps like, would have helped the best? True story. If you go on my channel, you'll see a video that's called It's Just Noise. And you clicking the shit out that shit. If you go on my, <laughs> if you go on my channel and you, you watch a video called It's Just Noise, I made that video when I was in my creator's block. I had to force myself out just to get that video. I didn't even, I wanted to get a whole long form content video out and shoot a short film and everything and it didn't go as planned. So I was like, I was real like bad. I was like, you know what? I got a backyard, I'm finna do this. It was two minutes long. I put a voiceover over it and it's, to, to this day, I love, to, I love to call it one of my favorites. You know what I mean? I love to call it one of my favorites. Um, definitely one of my favorite pieces and it was just beautiful like you find beauty in the shadows and you never realize like those are the moments that you need to strike at is when you feel at your lowest then that's the time where you need to prove yourself prove to yourself don't prove to anyone else prove to yourself if you if you get up and you do something okay you don't gotta let the world know like if i get up if i'm going for a month best believe i'm working every single day i don't gotta post to let you know i'm working you know what i'm saying so yeah y'all just stay level-headed um just had to, uh, you know what I mean, give y'all some words. I feel like we ain't, you know what I mean, like, talk, like, thoroughly. We talk every day, you feel me? Like, not, it might not be, a, it might be a month, but, like, we talk every day, you feel me? Like, we tap in, so. Yeah, um, without further ado, man, tears coming out of my eyes and shit, man, it's cold as shit, bro. Without further ado, man, we gonna wrap it up, man. Uh, peace and love to y'all and safety to each and every one of y'all. Um, once again, it starts here. The key is the subconscious, the key is your mind. Everything starts in your mind. Your reality will change once you change this. So without being said, man, we out. Can you try and say something, man? Oh, uh, man, just uh, stay blessed, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Just uh, have fun, enjoy life, man. Enjoy the people around you. And um, yeah, just, you know what I'm saying, live life and just have fun. Keep eating, man. You know what I'm saying, keep eating, but keep eating the right thing. You know what I'm saying, change the diet. If you want to change the diet, do that. I know I'll be promoting, let's keep eating. Y'all know me, I'll be saying let's eat, but i do it the right way. So do it the right way and everything gonna be all right. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Bye, have a great time.